compost. Just as Mel's mix is the most important element of square foot gardening, compost is the key ingredient of Mel's mix. Stick around and I'll tell you why. Come on, let's go. Hey, how you doing? On behalf of the Square Foot Gardening Foundation, I'm Rick Bickling, the How Do Gardener. Although only one third by volume, compost provides all of the essential nutrients found in Mel's Mix. Vermiculite and peat moss both play important roles in making Mel's Mix the perfect gardening soil, but they provide little, if any, nutrients. Now, ideally, the compost you use in making Mel's Mix should be homemade from ingredients you've chosen and composted yourself. But that can be a lot of compost, and not every gardener has their own compost operation, or at least one that makes that much material. A perfectly good Mel's Mix can be created from bags of compost you purchase, but commercial composts always have as their main ingredient a byproduct of a single industry, such as the lumber industry, manure producing farming, such as from cow, horse, chicken, sheep, or pigs, mushroom farming, vegetable canning, liquor production, cotton milling, soybean production, worm castings, and ocean byproducts such as from lobster, kelp, or fish. Now each of these different industry specific compost has a slightly different mix of soil nutrients and trace minerals. So if possible, buy a variety of composts that together contain at least five separate industry specific compost types. Always check for the OMRI label, then mix them all together before measuring out your one-third component to make Mel's Mix. So as you can see, compost is key. And although you can get started with square foot gardening by using store-bought compost, we really recommend that you start composting for yourself. Visit our website at squarefootgardening.org.